If you want to be bothered by something that's happened in the last 48 hours, go to Farhan Zaidi's comment about them being done, making additions. That's absurd. If you think this starting rotation is ready to play baseball in the National League well, this Well, Pablo year, can pitch. <laughs> good. Touche. Thank you. Anyway, anyway, they can't be done. And by the way, I don't believe him because if I do believe him, then he I, I really have been wrong for the last four years because this is not okay. Your starting rotation is flat out not okay. You're not doing this to Logan Webb. You're not, I am not going to let you do this to Logan Webb. He cannot be your only starting pitcher. Okay? Robbie Ray. They got a couple other guys. Robbie Ray in July. They got Tristan and Keaton. Perfect. Friends of the program. And, 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 and you know Tristan, what? Tristan, Keaton, and Carson. More power to them. <laughs> and Kyle Harrison, I you know. know I'm a big fan, but you cannot yeah. go out there. This isn't a band. It's not Logan Webb and the four question marks. I don't want to see them perform. Okay, Alex Cobb's going to be another month into the season. And the other guys are all question marks anyway, and you've been trumpeting for four years the need for like ten starting pitchers. When you go into camp, you've now got like two. Two! What are we doing? You're not allowed to be done. And I don't believe you. Mark Feinsand, literally 24 hours ago, Yankees have an offer on the table to Blake Snell, Giants and Angels, the other two involved. We'll see. I don't even think they're going to get Snell. But the idea that they're just done with millions of dollars still available below the tax threshold and needs that are obvious. Look, Matt Chapman's been the worst kept secret all offseason, and maybe they don't go get him. That you could actually pitch to me. Tell me that J.D. Davis, Wilmer Flores, Casey Schmidt, and Marco Luciano are going to handle the left side of the infield. You can sell me on it, I guess. I don't know how that's going to go. You cannot sell me on this starting rotation. That's a no from me, dog. Like, it's not ready. It is not ready, and you cannot pitch to everybody that it's ready. So do not say out loud, we think we're done, unless that's a negotiating ploy to Scott Boris, who thinks it's cool to keep all of his free agents on the shelf until the first week of the season, right? So which the, is also lame. The Giants don't do desperation. And last year, if you look at their starting rotation, it was very similar to this. The only difference was they had a bunch of 30-year-old, 30 30-plus-year-olds 30 who weren't very good. Yeah, but they had people you who trotted who, out. At least they had people who had started games in the majors. Fine. And if you look at last year, they had 13 different guys start a game. Yep. And three of those guys are going to be in the rotation this year. Tristan Beck started three times. Keaton Wynn started five. And Kyle Harrison started seven. There you go. There are your veterans. And I know we haven't brought up at two, three, and four. We haven't brought up Jordan Hicks, who's never gone more than five innings in his life. Oh, but he will now. (laughs) But nobody goes more than five innings under Farhan. It's not ready. It's not under Farhan. It's now under Bob Melvin, and they will. Right. They will go six or seven if you had pitchers capable of doing it. So you got to go get pitchers who are capable. And here of doing we are. It. Pitchers and catchers have reported. Everybody's reported. It's mid to late February. The freaking outfielders and, have reported. Right, and this is what you have. So I've long since lost faith in Farhan being able to do what he is setting out to do. And if he says that he's done. I'll take him in his word because I don't know if any of the Boris four, as everyone's calling him, <laughs> if you're Boris and you want to get every last dollar and you've got Farhan who has not been able to spend every last dollar, I don't have any faith that he's going to land any of the Boris four. No, I don't either. I don't so either. this may be the team that he goes, it might he be. goes to post with. And it's not okay. But they've got Pablo. <laughs> Everyone look over here. The panda's back. Yeah. I don't I, like... I'm not, I, I'm not saying I it think, bothers me so much that no, I want to write a firmly worded email. I, <laughs> I think that the yeah. very optics of broadcasting that the panda is back, it's a shiny, it's a big, shiny object to take your attention away from the reality of what you're laying out. I know what you're saying, but I think that your 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 comment makes it sound like the marketing department and the baseball department are in more concert than I think they are. I think the marketing department is people sitting there going, well, th- let's have fun with this. Pablo Sandoval? Are you kidding me? The baseball department is like, look, he wants to play. He's a, he's a team legend. We've got two young Latin players who we think really could use some mentorship. 
What's the what's the harm in that? I don't think Farhan called the marketing department and went, I want you to make a big deal out of this. I don't think they did that. I don't think that they're working together that well. Wink, wink. I don't think they're working together that well. So um, I well, guess if I'm you, Farhan, I'm making the call the other way and saying, maybe, you know what? Maybe don't mention. Calm it, it down. If some if Susan no. Sluster sees that there is a slightly rotund, heavy set guy. Over there picking balls at third and hitting from both sides of the dish. Body shaming Pablo? Damn. I'm equally rotund. Uh, There's nothing wrong with being no, I, I just, I, I the round I'm mound of red balls on the ground. I yeah. think it's, I, you could have waited for the one-liner. But I'll, share, right. I'll, share your, <laughs> I'll share your opinion if you were to make the team. It's spring training, so who cares? It's like getting worked up over an all-star game. Niff. Oh, people well, are worked up over an all-star game. I know they are. Don't get worked up over the all-star game. Just turn it off. If you're that turned off, just turn it off. I'm not getting worked up. Now, in terms of what I do for a living in sports talk, absolutely I'm worked up because to me it is symbolic of how things are being run down there, which is more sideshow than playoff and championship caliber organization. This to me is a joke. The fact that you are putting out all of these news releases, and you're getting all this attention of a guy who's not even going to make the team. How about you draw attention to Luciano or Matos? Where are the profiles well, on these young I, players? No, see, what's Casey Schmidt doing I, right now no, in the offseason? Where's Blake Sable at? But what's the win? Blake Sable. What's the win there? The win is getting fans interested in yeah, players but, who are actually going to play. But you don't know that. They could be in the minor leagues for all we know. Well, Sabe Sabes won't be. Oh, yes, he could be. Blake Sable? Absolutely. Two-way saves? He's got options now, and they've got two other catchers. So, yes, he absolutely could be in the minors. So, I'm not, if I'm a marketing department wow. and I'm baseball, I'm not taking my 22-year-old players and humping a bunch of more pressure on them by marketing them all over social media before they've ever even had a starting job in the bigs. That's not what I want to do. I, I'm, I'm with you with regard to if the baseball people, here's the issue with it. The issue with it. It, it, like it's not they should be marketing Luciano or they shouldn't be marketing Sandoval. It's that they're marketing Sandoval because there isn't anything else that's interesting enough right. to be more marketed. Right. Here's the way I'll say it. I am me. I watch this as much as anybody on the planet. Yeah. This team put together an Instagram slideshow over the weekend of – Arrivals. We all know about arrivals in sports now. Oh, it's big. Oh, look, there's Steph. What's Brock he, Purdy, J.C. Penney. Right, Brock Purdy's <laughs> got a backpack again. Look out. That means he's really coming after you. It's going to be 300 yards right. for Brock. Big blank Brock. Here we go. It's arrivals. Well, the Giants did it, and you got to see, by the way, Wilmer Flores drives a ride. Whew. If you're a car person, okay. But they're doing arrivals. And you're watching Broncos and sports cars and GMC, and here it all comes into the parking lot. And then here they come sauntering into the stadium, and I'm like, yeah, who's that? Is that Ethan? If I'm only, Kyle? If I'm only batting 7 out of 10. Who are you, you? If you give me 10 players, me, without their uniform on, and you live in Farhan's basement and I can only, when you're not staying at when Kyle's. When I'm not at Kyle's, exactly. <laughs> only when they travel in the summer. Totally. Anyway, if I can only hit 700, me? I mean, come on, man. Come the average on, man. fan's probably hitting 300, come on. if that. So that's the issue. And it's been the issue for a long time. And so we get that. But I, I can wrap my head around even that if you go play good baseball. But spoiler alert. You're not going to play good baseball with this starting rotation. I'm sorry. You are not playing a four-game series against Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, Shohei Otani, and getting them all out with Keaton Wynn. You're not, I'm sorry. You're not, you're not there yet. You have got to have another answer in the starting rotation before Game one. Probably two answers. As I mentioned last Maybe. year, last year you started 13 guys, and part of that was the, the Kapler approach about openers. It was op opener city, baby, Dickie V. <laughs> but then you look at the rest of the rotation and guys like, you know, Cobb and, and Disco and Manaya, these were not guys that you trusted. And even those durable, reliable, I'm a starter arms, yeah. they don't exist this year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, they do. They do. 
You, 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 but you have to actually sign them to a contract. Well, I mean, on your team right now. Yeah. It's Keaton and Tristan and Carson and, and Kyle. And maybe they'll be fantastic. You're going to need them to at least be innings eaters. But, you know, yeah. What What is Jordan Hicks actually able to do as a starter? Um, which ones of the young guys are, are, are ready to step in? When is Alex Cobb going to be ready? I'm sorry. It's just too, it's too many questions. You have to be able to throw some um, some ability, like standby ability, some credibility at at the starting pitching spot, especially as you bring in a new manager who everybody's like, well, yeah, we're done with this whole opener thing. We're done. We're done like replacing guys at two and two thirds, especially if someone's pitching well. If I go out to talk to my starter at five and a third. And he tells me, Skip, I got this guy. I don't know if you've noticed, but I just retired four in a row. Okay, we're going to stick with you, buddy. Keep going. Go to the seventh, right? Because what happens when you don't do that all year, even if it works for a little while like it did last year, by the end of the year, your bullpen stinks because you wore them right. to bleep out. You had three so pitchers really, last year throw 100 innings. And they're not doing that this year. Three so. pitchers threw 100 I mean, it it's was Manaya, yeah. Cobb, and Webb. You had Alex Wood get close at 97.2. But other than that, you had D- Disco, 99, and a bunch of openers. Yeah. So that's not what, even 200. That's what I'm worried about. I'm not yeah. worried about Pablo and their Instagram posts. I'm, I'm, I'm worried about that. When Farhan says we're done, it's like, you better not be. I'm not worried you about it. Better not be. But I see that over the weekend. Damn it, and Farhan! I have a couple of uh, Giants fans who are less of Giants fans now than they were sure. three and four years ago. Sure. They're very close to me and my family, and they react in a visceral fashion, like, totally. "What the blank is this?" Well, that's where the fan base is across the board, right? And they're going to be that way no matter what happens until. The Giants go out and play good baseball. An interesting baseball. Interesting baseball. Even if you yes. go out and you start four and ten, but you're losing games like twelve, eleven, and you know, hey, we lost well, this one thirteen to nine. Or- I mean, their two biggest free agent signings are like personality guys, right? Jung Hoo Lee, Jorge Soler. Like these are these are these are not like that dead fish personality sure. type type people. So that's a good start. It is, but, but I do think you, the language barrier, at least for uh, Jung Hoo Lee, could be a part of maybe you know because it's hard to, as a fan, to really latch on to a player. I don't know through an interpreter. Otani became the biggest deal in baseball, and no one's ever heard him say a word. Right. So that's Otani. I understand that. Yeah. I mean, uh, nobody's saying. I'm just saying, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If Jung Hoo Lee hits 400. Fans are going to latch on to it. Exactly. It doesn't matter how he speaks. Especially if he's if out he here, grandson of the wind. and, and All that stuff He's is had fun. one press conference, and he killed it. For sure. Like the best press conference the Giants have had in five years. It was fantastic. So I'm not worried about that. I'm just like I'm, wor- like, I'm worried about can you play good baseball? Because at the bottom of this whole thing, there has to be that as a base. You have to play good baseball. You can have personality, no personality, you can have your whatever, your your pitch to the public. It can work. Some things don't work. At the base of all this, you've got to be a good baseball team. And, and right now, I don't see a starting rotation that threatens to be one. Especially in a ballpark where you need pitching and defense. So, better not be done. Well, he and, says he's done. Well, he said and we're I take done him adding. Word. He said we're done adding. Maybe there's a trade in the works. Okay. I don't know. There's I some also, subtracting that's going to go on. I have a hard time believing that they've been named as as one of the two or three teams that's still playing with the Boris for the whole offseason. And as all four of them still sit there unsigned, the Giants are just like, we out. Now we're just not interested? Bull. I got them slated for four for second places. In the Boris four. <laughs> four silvers yeah. for your guy Farhan. Well, no, they're not. Uh, well, actually, I can't. Yeah, I can't. I don't think Bellinger is. I don't think that's in play. That's just me. I could so be it's wrong. Bellinger, Snell, Chapman, and. Montgomery. Montgomery's Jordan, the other Jordan one. Okay, Montgomery. thank you. Yeah, Jordan Montgomery, which would be great. But not in the donut bet. Not in the donut You're down bet. to three. I'm of, down to three. Down to three. Yes. But. Yeah. You know, still in play. Yeah, yeah. but all, but all those were the only three free agents. The other ones I named was a was a player on the Brewers, right? And he got and he traded. signed. Oh, he did get traded. Yeah, to the right. wrong orange and black. Yeah, team. bummer. Went to the Orioles. It's bad beat for you. Stupid. <laughs> all right, thank you. All right.